Well, eventually, if it gets to be much smarter than us, it'll be very good at manipulation because it will have learned that from us. You can't make different biological brains behave identically, okay. so you can't share the connections. Yeah, us. but why, why wouldn't we stick with digital computers? So, if I learn some connection strengths in a neural net that's being simulated on digital computers... What are kind of like the next things you think this technology will do that will impact people's lives? It's looking a lot more like AI is capable of reading our thoughts, and we're not just talking about it predicting what kind of TikTok we want to see next. Godfather of AI. Meet Jeffrey Hinton, the unsung hero of the digital frontier, the man who's basically the godfather of AI. Picture this British dude in the 70s dreaming big dreams about simulating brains on computers. Back then, folks were like, nah, I can't mimic brains, mate. Drop it before your career goes down the drain. But Hinton? Oh boy, he didn't back down. Fast forward 50 years and guess what? Hinton's accidental brainchild, the artificial neural network, is like the rock star of AI. It's the secret sauce that makes machines learn and get smarter on their own. You know, like a robot revolution, but a friendly one. So why the Godfather title? Well, it's not just about algorithms and computer geekery. It's about Hinton being the OG who paved the way for the AI takeover we're witnessing today. Imagine a movie where a brainy Brit takes on skeptics, faces failure, and then boom, he accidentally changes the world. Hollywood material, right? The Godfather tag isn't just a fancy title. It's like Hinton is the wise elder of the AI world, the guy who's been there, done that, and now guides us through the digital jungle. His influence goes beyond lines of code. It's the story of how we ended up with AI wizards running the show. Hinton's work isn't just about fancy tech, it's about turning science fiction into reality. He's not just a scientist, he's a storyteller, spinning tales about the evolution of AI. When you hear Godfather, think of Hinton as the wise guru shaping the destiny of the digital cosmos. So let's take a moment to appreciate this brainiac, Jeffrey Hinton the godfather whose ideas echo in the algorithms and circuits steering AI into the future. A 50-year journey. Picture this, the groovy 70s. Hinton, with his wild hair and visionary vibes, had this grand idea. He wanted to throw a neural network party on a computer to crack the secrets of the human brain. But hold up, the world wasn't ready for this brainy bash. Skepticism was the theme of the era. Despite the naysayers, Hinton didn't let the skeptics rain on his parade. He pushed forward, ready to prove them wrong. Spoiler alert, this journey wasn't a smooth sail. Nope, it was more like a roller coaster with unexpected drops and loops. Hinton faced setbacks that would make your worst Monday look like a walk in the park. But guess what? The man is made of grit and determination. Failure was just a pit stop for him, not the final destination. Now, let's fast forward through time. 50 years to be exact. What started as a dreamy pursuit of understanding the brain turned into something colossal. Well, eventually, if it gets to be much smarter than us, it'll be very good at manipulation because it will have learned that from us. This has been a week where concerns over the rapidly expanding use of artificial intelligence resonated loudly. We don't actually know what's going on any more than we know what's going on in your brain. It's looking a lot more like AI is capable of reading our thoughts, and we're not just talking about it predicting what kind of TikTok we want to see next. Artificial neural networks were born, not because Hinton meticulously planned it, but because life threw him a curveball, and he swung for the fences. It's like accidentally discovering fire while trying to cook a burger. Hinton stumbled upon something huge, something that changed the game. The accidental development of artificial neural networks became the backbone of modern AI. So, what's the moral of this story? Sometimes the best inventions come from unexpected detours. The evolution of artificial neural networks isn't just a tech tale, it's an adventure with unexpected twists and turns, starring the indomitable Jeffrey Hinton. AI's Learning Process so, here's the scoop. At the heart of AI's brain power are these things called neural networks. Think of them like a complex web of connections, kind of like the synapses in our human brains. Now, what makes this neural network dance so special is how it learns. It's like the AI version of hitting the books, but on steroids. When AI tackles a task, let's say scoring goals in soccer like Google's robots, it's not a one-and-done deal. Oh no, 
it's a learning party. The connections in these neural networks flex their muscles based on what works and what doesn't. If the robot scores, high fives all around, and those connections get stronger. If it fumbles, it's back to the drawing board, and those connections take a hit. It's like teaching a robot to play soccer without a rule book. No coach yelling instructions. The robot is in the field figuring out the game by itself. This trial and error gig isn't just for show, it's the secret sauce that makes AI a potential learning ninja even better than us humans. You can't make different biological brains behave identically, okay. so you can't share the connections. Yeah, strengths. but why, why wouldn't we stick with digital computers? Announced he was quitting Google over his worries about the future of AI and what it could eventually lead to unchecked. How would you describe this current moment in AI, machine learning, whatever we want to call it? I think it's a pivotal moment. The knowledge that we learn, the connection strengths, are specific to our particular brains. Every brain is a bit different. Take a moment to imagine the scene. Google soccer bots running around, falling, getting up, scoring goals, and doing it all over again. The magic happens when those neural connections get the memo, this move works, keep it up, or oops, that didn't fly, let's try something else. In a weird way, it's like watching a baby learn to walk, but instead of a tiny human, it's a futuristic robot with a soccer ball. AI's learning process is like having a super smart buddy that can learn from its own experiences, adapt, and get better at stuff over time. So when we talk about the neural networks and the autonomous decision-making of AI, we're basically saying these machines aren't just following a script, they're out there in the digital wild, making choices, learning from the consequences, and becoming the next level thinkers of the tech world. It's a bit mind-blowing, isn't it? Concerns and Risks First on the worry list is the autonomy of AI systems. Machines going all rogue, writing and executing code without a human babysitter. Hinton is like the wise elder warning us that this could be a recipe for chaos. It's the digital equivalent of giving your teenager the car keys and hoping they stick to the speed limit. What if these AI systems start coding in ways we don't understand, or worse, can't control? Hinton's concerns hint at a future where the machines might run the show. The humans are just along for the ride. Then there's the spooky part, AI playing mind games. Hinton isn't just talking about Siri or Alexa being a bit too cheeky. He's pointing at the potential manipulation prowess of AI. These machines, armed with knowledge from every nook and cranny of the internet, could become the ultimate puppet masters. Picture an AI that knows human behavior inside out, manipulating decisions, opinions, and maybe even emotions. It's like having a virtual Sherlock Holmes who knows your every move and can use that info to pull your strings. Creepy, right? But hold on to your hats. The roller coaster isn't over. The immediate drop is unemployment. AI, with its lightning-fast processing and learning abilities, is snatching jobs like a digital ninja. Tasks that were once in the hands of humans are getting a futuristic makeover. The risk of certain sectors facing massive job losses is real. Picture assembly lines where robots are doing the heavy lifting, leaving humans twiddling their thumbs. It's a scene straight out of a sci-fi dystopia. The concerns raised by Hinton aren't just techie nightmares. They're the challenges of a digital era hurtling toward us. The fear isn't about the rise of the machines. It's about us losing the reins. As AI becomes more independent, manipulative, and job efficient, Hinton's words echo a call to action. We need to figure out the rules of this tech game, set boundaries, and make sure we don't end up being mere spectators in the AI circus. It's a tightrope walk between innovation and control, and Hinton is nudging us to find that delicate balance before the circus tent comes crashing down. Um, and they're suddenly aware of stuff that people at the big companies have been aware of for the last five years. What do you mean we don't know exactly how it works? It was designed by people. So if I learn some connection strengths in a neural net that's being simulated on digital computers. World Treaty on AI. Get ready for some serious talk about shaping the future before it slips out of our grasp. Hinton isn't just tossing out concerns for the fun of it. Nope, he's practically banging the drum urging us to take charge of the AI roller coaster that's picking up speed. First on his checklist, experiments. We need to get our hands dirty, 
dive into the tech pool and figure out how this AI beast behaves. It's like taming a wild animal. You can't do it from a distance. You've got to be in the arena. Experiments are our way of peeking under the hood, understanding the gears and circuits that drive AI. Now let's talk about the R word, regulations. Hinton isn't saying we slap on a bunch of rules just for kicks. No, it's about steering this technological juggernaut in a direction that won't end in chaos. Think of it like traffic rules. We need them to avoid crashes and keep things moving smoothly. Regulations in AI are like road signs for the digital highway, preventing a free-for-all where the consequences could be disastrous. But Hinton isn't stopping there. He's dropping a shocker a world treaty on AI development. It's not some pie-in-the-sky idea. It's a call for a global pact to prevent the misuse of AI, especially in the military realm. Imagine a world where nations come together, put pen to paper, and agree to keep AI out of the hands of war machines. I want to talk about a different risk, which is the risk of superintelligent AI taking over control from people. What are kind of like the next things you think this technology will do that will impact people's lives. Brains where researchers have used AI to translate brain scans into text. Hinton draws a parallel to historical figures like Robert Oppenheimer, the guy behind the atomic explosive, who later campaigned against the hydrogen explosive. It's about learning from the past, recognizing the power we hold, and being responsible custodians of this technological marvel. The call for a world treaty isn't just about stopping Slayer robots, it's about safeguarding the future. Hinton isn't waving a doomsday flag, he's nudging us to be the architects of a digital era that benefits all, not just a select few. It's about saying, hey, let's not just ride this wave, let's shape it before it crashes. So here's to experiments, regulations and a world treaty, the blueprint for a responsible AI adventure. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.